What's going on YouTube? So today I've got my hands on the latest Mad Giga AP34 Pro mini Windows PC. So this is a full Windows mini PC in my hands. It will give you a complete Windows experience. So this mini PC supports 4K and comes with Windows 10 Home pre-installed. This is running the Intel Celeron N3450 quad-core CPU with Intel HD graphics. You have six gigs of DDR3 RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Now you can also expand the internal storage. There is a spare M2 SSD slot, so you can add your own M2 SSD storage card. You've got built-in dual-band Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth version 4, and a full licensed version of Windows 10 Home. This does support 4K at 60 frames per second, and you have dual HDMI outputs version 2.0. Now this mini PC also comes with your user manuals. You've got a short HDMI cable and a long HDMI cable. A metal bracket so you can mount this to the back of your monitor along with the screws. A power adapter and the voltage is 12 watts 1500 MA. So UK power adapter. Now the TV box itself is made completely from metal finished in black and it definitely feels ultra premium. Now another great feature is you have a swivel wireless antenna here, high gain and it supports dual band Wi-Fi AC. So I'm expecting the Wi-Fi speeds to be great. Now there's nothing on the front. On the side we have a full size SD card slot and four USB 3 ports which is quite incredible, four USB 3 ports people, and they're all on one side. If we keep going, we've got a physical power button, your power socket, dual HDMI outputs capable of displaying 4K. We've got a gigabit LAN port, a headphone jack, and a reset hole. And of course, on this side, you've got your swivel Wi-Fi antenna with some ventilation underneath. And that brings us back to the front. This is what the bottom of the mini PC looks like. Again, we've got ventilations on both sides. And over here you have the threads for your mount so you can screw your mount in. So this mini PC is upgradable. You can add an M2 SSD drive. So we're gonna quickly open it up and have a look at the internals. So, so you remove the four sticky pads at the bottom to expose four screws. And let's just quickly get this open. So, so we've got the back plate off. There's no wires attached to the back plate, so that's a good thing. Okay, so here is the bottom of the motherboard, which means we still have to open a few more screws in order to access that SSD storage slot. So we've got two more screws that I can see. There's actually th a third one at the top. So three more screws we're opening up. So if we just carefully lift this up from the side and you can expect wires to be connected. So we've got the Wi-Fi antenna connected on the right. So if I hold that like this, over here you can see your SSD M2 slot. So that's where you would put your card in. It would just sit above here. It will slot into there. I'll find out the maximum capacity and put it on the screen right now for you guys. So that is what the board looks like. Now let's put this back together. You can see the physical power button has come off. So we will install that carefully. So the physical power button, you need to put back in. Hold the case downwards so the power button stays in place. Or you could use some tape if you want, you don't have to. And that is, that is pretty much it. So I'm gonna screw this back together very quickly. So we've got three screws, one at the top and one here and one there. Let's put the back plate back on. Four screws. So now I'm gonna get this mini PC hooked up to my TV and capture card, and we are gonna find out how good it really is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test, and this mini PC took 39 seconds to fully load Windows to the desktop. Now here is your Windows 10 desktop. So let's have a quick look first of all at system properties. So as you can see, we have six gigs of RAM, a 64-bit version of Windows 10 Home fully activated and ready for you to enjoy. 
Now, moving on to the system storage info, we have 64 gigs of internal storage from which 57 gigs are usable and from that we have 42.8 gigs free to use. So this is the full version of Windows 10 Home. It comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect to find, including the Windows App Store where you can download all your favorite apps and games. This is basically a full PC experience in a mini compact size. The system is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows applications such as Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office, the web browsers, um, a lot of different software and games will also work, including Modern Combat 5. So this mini PC supports 4K, so let's go ahead and play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and see how it performs. So unfortunately 4K at 60 frames per second absolutely struggled and as you can see this device cannot play 4K 60. So I then tested out 4K at 30 frames per second and those videos played absolutely fine. So this box supports 4K at 30 frames per second maximum. So next up I tested out YouTube and you are able to stream a maximum of 4K on YouTube. Whole town's been using this place for generations. Folks make a kind of ritual out of it. Stay down. Mr. Coxman? What can I do for you? It's about your son. School trip. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. So now we're going to test the multitasking capabilities of this mini PC. I will open lots of applications and games all at the same time, and we will see how the system copes. So as you can see, we have lots of stuff open. You can hear it all playing at the same time in the background. System is handling it very well, and I don't feel any lag or slowdown. I have at least two or three games open at the same time along with lots of applications and software. So we do have very good multitasking capabilities from this little mini PC. So let's move on now to the gaming test beginning with Beach Buggy Racing. Now in the Wi-Fi speed test we got download speeds of 46 megabits per second and upload speeds of 7 megabits per second and our current top internet speeds are between 47 and 50 megabits per second and in the Anti2 benchmark test we achieved 118k. So there you have it guys, that was the Mad Giga AP34 Pro Mini PC. So here are my thoughts on this device. You have a solid metal build quality with a fanless design, so it's ultra silent in operation. Supports a maximum of 4K at 30 frames per second, including 4K streaming on YouTube, Netflix, and Amazon Prime Video. And this also has dual HDMI outputs version 2.0. Furthermore, you can play less demanding games from the Microsoft App Store or even from Steam and I was able to play Asphalt 9 and Modern Combat 5 nice and smooth with no lag or dropped frames. You have plenty of expansion and also a free MSATA 3 slot inside so you can add a 1TB drive for that extra storage space. You also have dual band Wi-Fi with dual antennas giving you great Wi-Fi and Ethernet speeds and plenty of RAM to boost the multitasking capabilities. So that brings us to my top mini PC chart for 2019, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the top latest mini PCs. And as you can see, the Mad Giga AP34 Pro has taken position 5 on this chart with a rating of 8.2 out of 10. I've also added two more sections for Ethernet speed and HDMI versions and you can view the full versions of all my charts online 
at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Bottom line, for the price, this is a great performing mini PC with lots of extras along with a decent performance to go with it. Only points to keep in mind is it's 2019 and one would expect 128GB to be the standard minimum in mini Windows PCs. However, 64 gigs is still okay and you do have the potential to upgrade to 1 TB. Also, during gaming, the mini PC did get a little hot, but again, this is expected in a fanless design and it did not affect the overall performance. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, do let me know in the comments what you guys think of this product. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have. A brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.